What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released the RC or release candidate version of iOS 15.6 to registered developers about one week after the fifth beta and almost two months after the initial 15.6 beta. Now, in addition to this iOS release, we also got the RC version of iPadOS 15.6, tvOS 15.6, HomePodOS 15.6, watchOS 8.7, and macOS Monterey 12.5. But in this video, I'm on vacation, that's why the set looks different, but we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS 15.6 and discussing what's new in the software along with when to expect the final version. All right, so taking a look at the size of this update, you can see here it came in at 5.38 gigabytes on my iPhone 12 Pro. Of course, that size will vary depending on the device you're on and also the version you are coming from. Now, if we go ahead into our settings to check out the build number, if we go to settings, a general about 15.6 we can see the build number there is 19 g69 and if we scroll down to the modem firmware you can see that is 2.70.01 all right so now what's new here in ios 15.6 so the first thing is that we finally have a fix for the storage bug so you can see here apple says that 15.6 fixes an issue where settings may continue to display that the device storage is full even if it is available so if we go into our settings here Sometimes you would get a little alert up here saying that your device is full in terms of storage when it really wasn't. And then also sometimes when you went to general and then iPhone storage, it would show right here that your device is full even if you had available storage remaining. It wouldn't show this as full. You would just get a little pop-up here that said that the storage is full even if it wasn't. We also have a fix in Safari relating to tabs. So it says it fixes an issue where a tab may revert back to a previous page. So if you switch tabs, sometimes it would show the previous page you went on instead of the actual page you had open in that tab. We get some new features in the TV application. So you can see here we have a new splash screen for Apple TV and it says Apple Originals, Share Play, and Shared with Views. So those features we have covered, but this is a new splash screen. And then also when we go in here, Apple mentions that the TV app adds the option to restart a live sports game already in progress and pause, rewind, or fast forward that live sports game. So if you go to the watch now tab and scroll down a little bit, you will see some of these sports games right here. So Major League Baseball, we have Friday Night Baseball, of course, Apple is making a big push in sports for Apple TV Plus. So that is pretty cool. You can see there's a live game right now and we're now able to you know, pause, rewind or fast forward that game and also restart a live game already in progress. And the final thing mentioned in the release notes is that this update fixes an issue that may cause braille devices to slow down or stop responding when navigating text in mail so that's a very specific issue but if you did have issues with braille when it comes to the mail application that is also an issue that has been resolved with this update and in terms of other features that apple did not mention we do have something new in a screen time so if we go into screen time right here and go into one of our family members you can see we have this improved communication safety that is a new feature in 15.6 and when you tap on improve right there and enter in your passcode you can see you get this new splash screen right here where you get the option to share with apple and you have the option down here to improve communication safety. And when you enable that, you will see that it shows right here what you get when you improve communication safety. It basically just sends data to Apple to help improve this feature. This update also fixes an Apple Music bug where it was automatically added to the dock after reinstalling. And it would basically move an application out of the dock just to put Apple Music back in there if you were to delete it and reinstall it. But now it will install on the home screen and not just the dock. And then we have some minor changes to shortcuts. So we have a new web permission for Safari for while wow loading web content. And then also some changes relating to HomePods. So when a HomePod receives a request from a voice it doesn't recognize there are now some new options and when you set up a stereo pair for multiple home pods there are some minor verbiage changes on the setup screen and then once the final release comes out to the public we will see some additional changes and especially some you know updates on the security patches that were implemented in 15.6 because i'm sure there are quite a few that have been fixed here with this update since it's been two months since the last public ios 15 release now in terms of performance performance is really solid here on 15.6 the rc build which of course is going to be the final release for the public but so far really no complaints at all when it comes to performance but as far as an improvement over 15.5 i don't know if i can say that because it feels about the same as 15.5 to me this seems like it's just a bug fix update and Apple didn't really touch anything relating to the performance or the battery life. So I would not expect any battery life changes. If you had bad battery life on 15.5, it could get better here with 15.6. It could fix some of that battery drain you may have been facing, but I would not expect any dramatic changes in terms of performance 
for battery life. Now, in terms of the Geekbench scores, you can see I got a 1579 on the single core and a 3822 on the multi core. And you can see how that compares to the previous betas right here. So we got a slightly higher single core score than any of the previous betas. And the multi core is right in line with the previous betas. It's a little bit lower actually on the multi core, but still we do have a better single core than any other version, which is good to see. All right, so now let's talk about what to expect next. And more importantly, when will we see iOS 15.6 get released to the public? And I think we could see 15.6 as early as later this week. So I think as early as the 14th or the 15th we could see 15.6 get released to the public keep in mind the new m2 macbook air launches right here on friday the 15th so if apple wanted to push out an update before the macbook air it would make sense and that could be a potential release date for 15.6 and all the other versions of this new software now if it doesn't come out later this week it will most definitely come out next week on the week of the 18th and i would think that it would be early in the week maybe the 18th or the 19th and then in typical apple fashion once they move on from 15.6 we're going to move on to ios 15.7 so we should expect to see the first developer beta really as early as this week as well i could also see that coming later this week if not we could see that next week or even the following week but i would expect to see a 15.7 beta 1 because of course we are still going to see ios 15 updates until ios 16 releases in september which is coming up we're a couple of months away from that official release and then for those wondering about ios 16 the public beta just got released yesterday on the 11th and in terms of the developer beta that's going to be the next ios 16 update we're going to see and that is going to be developer beta 4 and that's most likely coming next Next week on the week of the 18th it's most likely going to come right there on the 19th or the 20th apple does tend to like those tuesday releases so that's what i would expect and i would expect the public beta to come out either later that week or the following week it should come out later that week though but we'll have to wait and see apple does like to throw curveballs when it comes to these new software updates but yeah guys there you have it that is ios 15.6 the rc build of course this will be the same as the final release we could see some additional things added from now until then but most likely this is what we're going to see on the final release of 15.6 just an overall bug fix update and again we will see what security you know bugs have been squashed with this update as well once it gets released to the public so let me know what you guys think about ios 15.6 down there in those comments below and if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios 15 and ios 16 coverage coming very soon but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon